Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I'm reading a dog book, a new dog book called My Friend Fred. It's written by Francis Watts and illustrated by A. Yi. And it's another CBCA book and it's brand new on the shelves. Let's have a look at the blurb and see what it has to say. My friend Fred eats dog food for breakfast. I think dog food is disgusting. My friend Fred howls at the moon. I don't know why. He does a lot of funny things, but even though we are different, Fred is my best friend. So I'm curious about who is speaking. Who is Fred's friend? Because I don't think it is another dog. What do you, who do you think it is? Let's find out together. My friend Fred eats dog food for breakfast. I think dog food is disgusting. Fred certainly looks like he is enjoying his food. Who thinks dog food is disgusting? I certainly do. My dog loves his food just as much as Fred does. Whose tail, if you're using your visual clues, is hanging out of the basket in the background? If it's who I think it is, that would not be bit. Fred's best friend. My friend Fred loves to chase balls. He never gets bored. Dogs are really good at keeping busy. They are always up to something and when they are finished they sleep so soundly. I would love to have their energy. My dog never seems to be tired and never says no to chasing a stick or a ball. My friend Fred sniffs trees. Oh, that's disgusting, Fred. I'd rather climb them. Okay, so we have a bit more information. Fred's friend would rather climb trees than sniff them. Does that help you figure it out? My friend Fred gets excited when the doorbell rings. He can be very noisy. Woof, 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 woof. I am super happy that my dog is not like Fred. My dog is super quiet. Do you know a dog that is noisy like Fred? My friend Fred wears a coat when it's cold. He thinks he looks handsome. Um, I'm not so sure. I love the way the artist has drawn Fred's big long ears blowing in the wind. I think Fred looks handsome. What do you think? I wonder why his friend is not so sure. Um, my friend Fred digs holes. He knows he shouldn't. Oh boy. Oh no, look at the mess Fred is making. I am very lucky that my dog does not dig holes. Fred does look quite sorry for what he has done. It would be hard to stay mad at him when he looks at you like that. Have you ever pulled a puppy dog face to try and get out of trouble? Look at those big eyes, as if you could stay mad at that. My friend Fred does not like stairs. Stairs are easy for me. Can you see the problem that Fred might have with the stairs? Fred is a breed of dog called a sausage dog because of their long shape. They have long bodies and it makes it hard for them to climb things. We have another clue. Fred's friend has no problem getting up the stairs. My friend Fred shakes himself after a bath. Ugh. I hate baths. Oh boy, Fred looks like he loves water. Do you like baths? I know lots of children who try to avoid having a bath. I don't know why, because they are super fun, especially with toys. Oh, another clue. Fred's friend hates baths. My friend Fred howls at the moon. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why. Ah, I'm making a text-to-text -text connection. I'm remembering when I read Dingo's Surprise. The dingo also howled at the moon. I wonder what it is about the moon that makes dogs howl.
My friend Fred always turns around three times before he goes to sleep. One, two, three. He does a lot of funny things. Do you have a special bedtime routine? I always have to brush my teeth, have a glass of water and clean my feet before I go to bed at night. What do you normally do? The reason I clean my feet is because there's always so much sand in our house from the beach. All right, everyone, challenge time. Can you remember all of the clues that we have heard so far? Fred's friend hates dog food, likes to climb, can climb stairs easily, hates having a bath. Who do you think it is? But even though we are different, Fred is my best friend. Um, wait, what? A cat? Cats and dogs can't be friends. This is very unusual and I did not guess that. I thought it was going to be a little person. Um, my dog Willow loves to try and chase the neighbourhood cats, not be friends with them. Sometimes we will have friends in our lives that will be the opposite of us. They will do things and say things that we would never do, but that is what makes them most special. We always need to focus on the good things we see in others and love each other just the way we are. And you can read some more about the author and the illustrator on this page. I had so much fun reading this book and trying to figure out who Fred's friend was. I look forward to our next adventure reading something new. Please comment and subscribe and let me know if there is a particular book you would like me to read. See you next time.